Like if you had to generalize, is this President Trump seeking to install conservative uh, counterweights to Janet Yellen? Yeah, I know both of them, and I think that uh, that's definitely what he's looking to do without getting too ideological. Uh, they are at an opposite end of the spectrum from Janet Yellen in terms of the way you do monetary policy, but they wouldn't be the kind of people who come in and try to tear up the Fed. Uh, Randy Quarles worked uh, in the administrations of both George H.W. and George W. Bush uh, on the, in the Treasury Department. He worked on the savings and loan bailout. He would come in, as we understand it, and, and we've talked about him before as the vice chairman for supervision, a new position in the Dodd-Frank uh, legislation that President Obama never filled. And he would be expected to do what he could to lighten regulation of major banks. Uh, the Marvin Goodfriend worked for 20 years as the uh, head of research at the Richmond Fed before moving to Carnegie Mellon University as an economics professor. He's been a member of the Shadow Open Market Committee, a, a group of people who argued in terms of uh, mon uh, mon the money supply helping make monetary policy, since that's become a little bit less important. He's become a proponent, like Quarles, of using rules. Uh, of course, mm -hmm. Janet Yellen, Stanley Fisher don't like rules, but uh, that's where the disagreement would come in. And, uh, of course, Marvin Goodfriend, also a friend of Bloomberg Surveillance, he actually spoke on Bloomberg Surveillance back in March. Let's listen. We have seen wage growth um, strengthening, firming. We haven't seen the kind of wage growth that's e explosive yet, but uh, the economy is getting strong on all. It's, it's, it's operating on all cylinders. And the, the, the key point is that interest rates, um, interest rates uh, are too low. Mike McKee, interest rates are too low, so we would be adding hawkish voices here to the Federal Reserve. Which is kind of interesting. Uh, Donald Trump during the campaign was all over the lot on whether he liked high or low rates. Most recently, he seemed to suggest as a real estate developer, he liked low rates. And of course, if he's going to try to stimulate the economy, he doesn't want the Fed pushing back too hard. Uh, Marvin Goodfriend has for quite some time said that we need higher rates. He's a proponent of rules like the Taylor rule, which would significantly raise rates. What we don't know from either one is whether they would move rates up quickly, because, of course, the Fed is raising rates. It's maybe more a question of how fast they would do it. But that would represent a change. Uh, now, we don't know when, if, uh, if, if indeed they will be appointed. So we don't know when they might take office, but there is the question of what happens in February of next year when Janet Yellen's term is up.